Well, later on this afternoon, friends and family will pay their respects and say their final goodbyes to Deputy Jacob Pickett. Our Alyssa Rayman is live this morning from Crown Hill Funeral Home this morning where his visitation is being held today. Alyssa, good morning. Julia, Ben, good morning. You can see that American flags line the entrance to Crown Hill Funeral Home. And this is where the visitation for Deputy Pickett is being held today from 2 until 7. We're told there will be an honor guard at the head and foot of Deputy Pickett's casket. Day after day, the community just tries to brighten these difficult days with so many touching tributes, including this one last night, where more than 2,000 paper lanterns lit up Zionsville Heritage Trail Park with messages. One of them we saw says, I love you, Daddy. We're told this started out on social media as a push to decorate driveways for Deputy Pickett, but then it just grew into something much, much bigger. I bet you there's thousands of luminaires out here, uh, all hand painted by kids, some parents. They've got personal notes on there. It really touches and, and warms our hearts, David. Deputy Pickett's K-9 brick was also there to honor his fallen partner. Lebanon officer Taylor Nielsen has been taking care of brick. She says he's going to go through a very similar healing process. She's noticed he wasn't eating as much at first, but she says day by day he's eating more and he is wagging his tail more. Again, the Boone County Sheriff's Office just keeps reiterating that brick will be here for every single step of the way. So coming up at 5, we're going to talk about the route for this procession, what you need to know about it, as well as the message coming directly from the Boone County Sheriff's Office about what they'd like you to, to see you do to pay your respects. Back to you in the studio, Ben and Julia. All right, definitely a difficult two days coming here for that family and the community. Thanks, Alyssa.